There's another train, woo! Hey, what is up everyone? And welcome back to another awesome tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create the vertigo effect in your video. And I'm gonna use my iPhone 12 Pro Max for that, but you can use any other smartphone that has a camera. The principles in this video are the same. So the dolly zoom or vertigo effect creates uh, an effect in which the foreground remains at the same position while the background either expands or shrinks depending on the camera movement you make. So the two methods to this, the first method would be in camera where we will be using the native camera app and zooming in with our fingers. I personally don't like the first method because first of all, it's harder to achieve, it takes a couple of tries to get it right and also it degrades the quality. I prefer using the second method using a mobile editing application that we will be looking at later. So as for the camera settings, I will be shooting in 4K 60 frames per second because with 60 frames per second, I can slow down the footage in post. I will also be using the ultra wide angle lens. This way the effect is more apparent than using a wide or telephoto lens. If you don't have the ultra wide angle lens, you could use the wide angle lens, but it isn't that apparent. Otherwise use add on lenses to get that ultra wide angle effect. Another benefit of using the ultra wide angle lens is that the footage is more stable because we have to create camera movement and we don't want any shakes in our video. By the way, you could also use a gimbal to create this effect. Many uh, gimbals come with an application that allow you to create the dolly zoom effect. But not all of us have a gimbal, so I'm gonna show you how I do this handheld and show you the two methods uh, to achieve that effect. Long passages and alleyways are great locations to create the dolly zoom or vertigo effect. I'm gonna do it with this lady right here my girlfriend is gonna create an awesome dolly zoom vertigo effect. Do you know how that effect looks like? Mm, isn't it when you are pushing in and something blurry? I need to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm first gonna change the frame rate to 60 frames per second and I'm gonna use the ultra wide angle lens. And the way I'm gonna hold my camera is like this. This way I can use my thumbs to zoom in and out. So the first camera movement I will do is I'm gonna to walk towards the subject uh, while zooming out. And what that does is it shrinks the background, okay? So I'm actually first gonna zoom in a little bit and then I'm gonna press record and go. All right. Let's try it out one more. It takes a couple of times to master it. All right. All right. Three, two, one, and go. Nice. And as you can see, I'm actually not even walking forward. I just have to lean forward and backward to create this effect. Now we're going to do it the other way around. I'm gonna move away from Sina and zoom in at the same time to expand the background, okay? So I'm gonna come a little bit closer. I'm gonna start recording and then I'm gonna move away while zooming in. And that should expand the background. Three, two, one, go. Beautiful. I don't even have to do two takes, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, let's go with the wide angle lens again. All right, recording, three, two, one. Woo! Woo! All right, we did that. And what else? Wait, 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 wait. Don't walk away. It's just walking away. Now another tip I have for you guys, if you have a skateboard or something on wheels, this way you have more options and don't only have to lean forward and backward, but you can actually also uh, move in longer distances. Now, if you have Filmic Pro, this makes it much easier because this way you don't have to use both of your fingers to zoom in and out. So we're gonna try that out as well. I'm gonna switch over to Filmic Pro and we're gonna create the same effect using the zoom rocker, okay? All right, so I have the ultra wide angle lens. I have set it to 4K 60 frames per second. 
uh, my exposure is set and locked also my white balance is locked and I also have stabilization on and now I'm ready to go okay so now I can actually use the zoom rocker to the right to zoom in and out but as I do this I actually lose quality but we're gonna try it anyway so I'm gonna zoom in and then I'm gonna start recording and go see it's that easy I'm gonna do the same thing but moving out and zooming in Whoop. that looked really great so for the second method I'm actually gonna move with the camera towards the subject and move away from the subject this way I can edit the video and create this effect using a mobile editing application and it's starting to rain so I have to you have to do it right now and the way I hold my phone this time is like this this is a tip I got from Brandon Lee and this way I'm way steadier um, when it comes to uh, creating uh, camera movements and we're gonna start recording three two one and I'm gonna move forward slowly and steady all right, I'm gonna do the same thing, just moving backwards. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right, let's now head over to the studio. So I'm back in my studio, but we're gonna do this at my dining table, if that's okay. So now that we have shot our clips, one clip moving towards the subject and the other clip moving away from the subject, I can use a mobile editing application to digitally zoom in or out in order to create the vertigo effect. And the mobile editing application we will be using is the VN app. The VN app is available for iOS and Android users. And the great part about it is that it comes for free. There are no watermarks in it and it has a lot of great features that is more than enough for the normal user. I personally use InShot and Luma Fusion, but I know that there are a lot of great mobile editing applications out there, such as the VN app that I thought is important to share with you guys. By the way, there is a download link in the video description below where you will get access to both of the clips so that you can follow along. So let's open the VN app. I'm gonna hit the plus button and then select new project and then select both of the clips and then hit the arrow key. As you can see, it's in our timeline. And the first thing I'm gonna do is trim the clip so that we have just the best portion. So I'm gonna tap on it and then I'm gonna drag it until I start walking away from her. And same for this side, I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna do the same thing with the second clip. I'm gonna select it and drag it until I start walking. And same with the other side. Okay, so let's start with the first clip. I'm gonna double tap on it and because I'm moving away from her, I want to digitally zoom in so that the background starts to expand. And the first thing I'm gonna do is hit the keyframe button. This allows to animate the transformation. So when I drag the cursor to the end of the clip, I can zoom all the way in. And when I play it back, it's gonna create that nice vertigo effect now we're gonna do the same thing with the second clip I'm gonna double tap on it but this time because I'm moving towards the subject I will have to zoom in first and then zoom out as I move away from her if that makes sense so I'm gonna zoom all the way in I'm gonna hit the keyframe button Gonna move the cursor all the way to the end and then zoom out like that. And when playing it back, you get this nice vertigo effect where the background shrinks. 
So the next thing you want to do is export the clip. Just uh, select the icon on the top right and we're gonna export it in 1080p. This way we won't lose any quality because as you remembered, we shot this in 4K and through zooming in and out, we lose quality if we export it in 4K. And the frame rate is set to 25 frames per second. Average bit rate is 9,000. HDR mode is on uh, because I shot it in 10-bit Dolby Vision and then hit the export button. All right, guys, these are the two methods to creating a vertigo effect with your smartphone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. If you're not a member of a Facebook group, make sure to join my private smartphone filmmaking community where you can share your work and get feedback from others. We have over a thousand active members. Once or twice a month, I go live in that Facebook group just to talk about smartphone filmmaking. So make sure to be there as well. If you haven't downloaded my free smartphone filmmaking guide, make sure to do that as well as this will help you get started with creating quality mobile content. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.